Hello and welcome. It brings me great pleasure to work, continue to work with the alumni, the folks that have graduated from the Professional Veterinary Team Member Certificate Program and continuing to move your journey along your path and management and professional development of your team. Kudos to you for keeping on track, staying committed, and, and being such an example for your members and, and members within your veterinary team and members within the community. I'm really proud of you. So what I wanted to do is create a video that welcomes you and also introduces you to all of the upcoming exercises associated with your alumni class. Just get it all together in one spot, make it simple for you. So the first topic we will be discussing is team culture. And your pre-work considers uh, what does it look like for you right now within your practice? You will see that in this handout there is a video for you to watch. It's a very brief, short video. And then I just ask for you to fill out a couple of things as to what are you doing as traditions within your practice and also list some other traditions. Oftentimes culture seems to be a big elusive kind of a buzzword, but let's look at, at it in the sense of traditions. What do you and your team typically do? And a couple other questions. So you will be simply filling this out, thinking ahead of time about the culture, and then we'll be creating the ideal culture, identifying what your current culture is like, and then creating a worksheet to fill in the gap. How will we fill in that gap? The next topic during our alumni class is team efficiency. So this is a rather intense exercise. I'm just gonna be perfectly upfront and center and honest on this one because Team efficiency is intense, and it's the crutch of everything that we do. It is how well we treat the clients, how efficient we are in that, how precision and precise are we in the delivery of that. So I created a really in-depth exercise for you. I hope you appreciate it, I hope you like it. So on this exercise, you'll be asked what are the top three outpatient visits your veterinary practice provides? How is that in the best interest of the pet and the pet owner? And a series of questions. Then I ask you to observe your team members during a visit from the very beginning to the very end. And if you can actually listen to your receptionists and, and client service representatives creating that appointment, that would be even better because that's the one that I'd like for you to follow through to the very end. Here's the series of questions. Like I said, it's pretty intense. So how does your receptionist interact with your client? Then I need for you to actually follow that client in the exam room and be perfectly front, upset, upfront and honest with them. Let them know that you're observing your team. Actually, when I've done this, they really appreciate it. They want to be a part of the exercise at that point. It's, it seems rather silly, but they do. Um, and then follow and observe in the corner quietly. How does your technician or assistant interact with the client and the pet? Then your doctors. Yes, I would like for you to observe your veterinarians in the exam room as well. And I'm also asking you to clock in. When did they enter the room? How long were they there? How long did this experience last? Um, even for the, the extent of the client. Because I want you to see, are you properly timing these appointments? And then look at the discharge experience. Finally, create a summary. So, so yes, this can be a relatively intense exercise. And I would like for you to give it the time and energy it deserves because this is very important. I mean, everything we do is important. <laughs> but I've been speaking with team members and working with team members even within my veterinary hospital as a technician on this topic since 1995. So this one's really near and dear to my heart. 
The next conversation we will be stepping into during the alumni class are creative and innovative performance reviews, because yes, you can make them that way. And I've simply created a survey to go online and fill that out. It's not gonna take you very long. It's rather simple. Uh, there will be a link in your exercises to get to that. The final topic that we will discuss is more of an open forum. And we did this last year with our alumni and we found it quite beneficial. So we're gonna repeat it again this year. And it's just simply this idea of getting the team to buy in mentally. Also, we look at this from what's working and what's not working and how do we create solutions and fill in the gap. If you've done the alumni class before, you might recognize this. There's a great book by Patrick Lencioni, and it is The Five Dysfunctions of a Team. And we'll talk briefly about this, but more of an opportunity to, to direct our discussion. There will be a survey associated with this exercise that will prep you for what's working and what's not working. So that's it. Those are your exercises. Uh, when you have questions, you are always encouraged to reach out to Mitty. She's happy to help you. She's super helpful and has been helping us now for three years in creating this program. She knows it inside and out. All right. Well, I can't wait to see you. Um, have a great day, and I will meet up with you in Phoenix. Bye-bye.